Katia V5 sketch analysis. This will be a quick tip and trick video. So I have this part design over here. This is mainly shape by the shaft. As we can see over here, we have a shaft and we have all the added values according to the 2D drawing. Now, what is sketch analysis and what is used for that? We see that within this sketch, if I open sketch analysis, we're going to have the geometry and we're going to have over here the imp implicit profile, the status will be closed and we're going to have a total of 14 curves over here. Now, if for example, um, this profile will not be perfectly closed, for example, this stop element, I will just delete that and I will recreate the line. I will zoom in over here and I won't snap this over there because I want the sketch to not be uh, continuous over there. And if I will zoom out again, I will see that the sketch will look like this. So this is something that uh, usually new users encounter. So if, for example, I would leave this sketch, I will see that within the update cycle, the sketch that uh, and also the shaft, which use that sketch, will have a bad um, invert profile over here. So most users over here will just uh, click on edit. They know that they have a problem. We see another error, feature uh, definition error, topological operators, impossible uh, relimitation of the main part. So we are, um, we are specified to change the specifications, but not the specifications are the problem. The sketch will be the problem. So click on OK over there go back to the sketch over here and now this is the main uh, advantage of uh, sketch analysis because if you don't zoom in on let's say we know that this is the the problem point so i can zoom in and see that but if i will just go to tool sketch analysis we're going to see that uh, we're going to have the profile over here and the status will be open and if you're going to zoom over here, you're going to see that on the sketch, there, uh, there will appear some uh, small circles. So those will also indicate opening loops within the, um, within the profile. Also, you can visualize them over here. So we see that we have a problem at the top since we had that red arrow over there. Therefore, we just need to, to correct that. So I can zoom in, I can select those two points and I can make them coincident. Therefore, now when I will leave the sketch, the part will be properly defined. We're still going to have some um, updates for the chamfer and for the other elements in this case. But uh, as you can see, I will just um, have them deactivated for now. We see that also the top cutout, which is the circular pattern, is no longer done because that top sketch that I deleted and recreated was used as a reference. So keep that in mind. For example, if I will go to edit, we're going to see that some faces or edges can be used. They can be used, but uh, let's say the surface, the top surface has been deleted and recreated. And uh, that will also create uh, the problem over there. So you just need to select the reference again. I see that uh, the reference is now uh, misaligned. So um, go over here and uh, re reposition that. I will position it on the cylinder over here. Click OK. And uh, that cut should now be done. So this is how you can use sketch analysis to correct your parts. Keep in mind that um, even though you will enter a sketch and uh, if you delete it and recreate it, if that has been used within later features, there will be some problems over there. So just like we have the problem over here with the chamfer, if I'm going to check the definition of this chamfer, again, this has been created on an edge that is no longer the same edge, even though we trace the same line over there. So in order to fix this, I just need to select the, the profile again. So I want the chamfer to be over there. Click OK. And uh, now let's uh, activate the chamfer. So as we can see, now the part doesn't have any, any more problems. So I hope that you find this uh, video useful. I will create also a step-by-step -step, um, video uh, where I will design this part within part design. So I hope that um, you enjoy this kind of content. 
I will position a similar video on the left side. I will also add this to the Katia V5 tips and tricks. And I will also add the subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.